imagine typing a few words and instantly changing backgrounds in any image, colorizing black and white photos, and adding or removing objects from photos. All of this and more is now possible with AI. OpenAI just released native images in ChatGPT, and it's a mind-blowing upgrade from its diffusion model, Dolly. Until now, creating images with AI felt like rocket science. You had to learn complicated tools like Midjourney on Discord or Laura's if you wanted consistent characters. For those unfamiliar, consistent characters mean the same person or character across different images. Honestly, it was intimidating, and the results weren't always usable. But OpenAI just introduced something wild, native images built directly into ChatGPT. Cool, but to be fair, Google's Gemini released native images months ago. If you wanna know which native AI image model is better, check out my YouTube video where I do a side-by-side -side comparison between Google and OpenAI. But for now, the big question is, what does this mean for you? I've tested dozens of AI tools. Here's why ChatGPT's new launch is so impressive. I'll also cover the areas where it falls short. To test out the new AI capabilities, just make sure you have ChatGPT's 4.0 model selected. Then in the prompt box, tell the AI what you wanna create. Here's what's amazing. You don't need complicated prompts or fancy terms like you do with some of the other diffusion models. ChatGPT natively understands context. For example, if you say, turn this black and white photo into color, it just works. Or maybe make my dog look like a Lego character. Yup, easy. Wanna remove or add elements? Just type, add a tree here or remove the background. No Photoshop skills needed. This new native model from ChatGPT even lets you create logos, comic strips, product mockups, or marketing materials right from your everyday conversations. And thanks to context training, you can give it example images of what you want the output to look like, and it'll replicate that in a variety of ways. You can input a photo of yourself and ask it to change something, for example. It's not perfect yet, but it's wildly capable compared to Dolly, which was OpenAI's former default image model. Here's why this is a big deal. There are two ways to draw pictures with computers, diffusion models and native image generators. Diffusion models are like magic erasers. They start with a messy scribble and slowly clean it up until it becomes clear and realistic. Native generators, like ChatGPT's new tool, are more like super smart drawing robots. They listen carefully to your instructions and create pictures from scratch. They're especially good at following precise instructions even adding words exactly where you want them, which reminds me. ChatGPT's native images is great at creating pictures with text in them, like really good. Check this out. This was one of the demo examples that OpenAI included in their launch. This is something that diffusion models used to struggle with, but here's the catch. ChatGPT images generate more slowly than tools like Dolly or traditional AI diffusion models. It's not instant and detailed requests can feel like waiting for paint to dry. In fact, if you've noticed your regular chats generating extra slowly in ChatGPT, it's probably because of this integration with native imaging. Plus, if you need precise graphs, multilingual text, or dense small details, ChatGPT sometimes gets creative, meaning it'll hallucinate or add things to the images that you didn't ask for. Still, despite those hiccups, the magic of simplicity here is real. So to recap, ChatGPT native images can transform famous paintings into lifelike photos. See this? The Mona Lisa is now photorealistic. And then you could even turn it into a video from there. Or you can combine elements, an AI-generated model now holding your product. Dun, dun, dun. You can even edit images, adding text or details for richer output. You can use terms like make it more like the original, remove the backgrounds, or change the following attributes for more precise outputs. You can even change the style of actual photos to Lego, anime, comic strip, voxel art, AI Ghibli, watercolor, I mean, you name it. You can make images transparent, create logos, or complex product designs. And thanks to advanced text rendering, you can even generate things like menus or invitations. So what's your first ChatGPT creation going to be? Let me know below. And if you learned one new thing today, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.